Should you read the Emperor series by Khan or Gordon? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian and today we are doing a Should I Read the Emperor series by Con or Gordon. This is a five book historical fiction series following the life of Julius Caesar. As with all my Should I Read videos, I will be giving you guys some pros and some cons to the series. This is going to be completely spoiler free and the aim is to give you as much information as possible to decide whether you would like this series or not, whether you would enjoy it, whether you would like to read it or not without giving you any spoilers whatsoever. So let's jump straight in. My first positive for this series is that there are very well realized characters in these books. Connor Gordon does a great job at building characters that are understandable and likable. He also does a really wonderful job at dealing with relationships, particularly the relationship of Caesar and Brutus, as well as other characters that Caesar is dealing with on and off throughout this series. And I think it is done very, very well. Early on, we are given a reason for their friendship. We understand why they are brothers like they are, and it is done very, very well. And I really enjoy the character work and particularly that relationship amongst some of the others as well. However, from a negative viewpoint on character, for the secondary and tertiary characters, there does sometimes seem to be a lack of payoff. These characters are introduced, we get to understand them and know them, but there's not always wonderful payoff that follows, even in later books. Now, some of that may be that I'm not used to reading historical fiction, and there's only so far you can stretch what is happening to include those secondary and tertiary characters in the long term. Maybe that's a historical fiction specific thing that I'm not used to. I'm not very well read in historical fiction, so maybe I just need to get used to that. But it did feel like sometimes there was room for wonderful payoff for secondary and tertiary characters, and we just didn't really get it. My second positive is that this is written in a very straightforward and engaging manner. I enjoy the way that Conor Gordon has written this. The prose is very workhorse. It does its job well. It is not flashy, it is not beautiful, but it does do a good job of conveying what needs to be conveyed. The dialogue is done well, and I really did feel like I could tell who was talking from what they were saying and how they said it. I didn't need all those character tags for the dialogue, and that is always a good sign. It is not the most astounding in prose. Like I said, it is not beautiful. It is not poetic, but it is solid and clear, and it conveys the character work really, really well, and we are never lost for where the plot's going, and I really enjoyed the way that Conor Gordon pulled us through that plot, following many, many different characters, and I really enjoy the way that Conor Gordon brought us through many events in Roman history in a way that was enlightening and interesting and fun, and I think he did a very good job at doing that. And guys, before we jump into the next negative, if you're enjoying this video, if you're finding it useful, please give that like button a click so that people can find this video and work out if this is a series they're going to enjoy just as much as I did. And then for my second and actually my final real negative for this series, and that is book number five, the final book. Now, I really appreciate what Conor Gordon was going for here. I think it was a brave choice in how he did it. I think it is a very interesting choice. However, I don't think that it landed as well as it could have done. And that's a little bit disappointing because I had really high hopes for this from Conor Gordon. I was hoping that it was going to be wonderful and really well managed. And it was good. It was good. It was probably the weakest book in the series. Now, this is a series that I gave four and four and a half stars across the board. So I, I did love this series a lot, but the ending didn't quite have, it didn't hold my attention. It didn't fascinate me like the earlier books had. And that is because of the way that Conor Gordon decided to parcel out this story. It was a very bold move and I like what he was going for. It just didn't quite work for me. So if the ending is all important to you, this series might not work for you. If the journey is more what you're going for, this series could be wonderful for you. And then moving on to my last positive for this series, and that is that it gave us a really interesting look into Roman politics. This series really captivated me. It captivated me dealing with the politics, dealing with the different consuls, dealing with the Senate, how Caesar came to power, um, how that power even looked, how that worked. And I think it was done very well. And the politics of this book, I think, was done well without ever being over the top. If you don't love politics in your books, I don't think this is going to put you off. Uh, it was not such a big part of these books that it was absolutely key and necessary to love it. 
but when it was introduced it was introduced well and it was really well explained we were never lost we never got caught up in the intricacies of it in such a way that it became far too difficult to manage or understand and i think the way that we saw battle as well battle is done very well by Connor gordon here the way we got to understand the different ways that the roman legions worked how that looked when they were fighting different enemies who had different cultures and different warrior styles and fighting styles and it was very interesting to see that all play out especially for me as well the naval side of it i really enjoyed the way that gordon wrote naval battles in a way that i've not really seen them done too much before and i'm really looking forward to reading more books with a navy heavy conflict going on because it was done so well it was really enjoyable and it felt very real and visceral being on the boat with the characters when they were there and i just love the way that that is depicted in this series in conclusion if you want to know more about Caesar, if you want to see a wonderful fictionalised version of Caesar's life, if you're interested in him as a character and his relationships, this series does that very well and would be something I would highly, highly recommend. If you want to follow along with the journey and see the history and how it worked out, highly recommend particularly because of gordon's historical notes at the end explain where he's had to deviate slightly to make the story work and that is always interesting in and of itself as well however if the destination the ending of series is a massive deal for you i don't think this series nails the last book unfortunately and if that's a deal breaker for you this might not be the series for you. Otherwise, if you're here for the journey and you want to see how we get there, you know what the ending's gonna be because you know something about history, enjoy the journey. It is done incredibly, incredibly well. This series is highly recommended for me. I am a historical fiction noob, so take that into account. But for me, this is a big recommend. This series is a four and a half star series for me, and I absolutely love it. I hope that's been useful for you to decide whether you want to jump into this series or not.